Hello guys, now in this particular video we will see how we can install the Skype uh, in all this Ubuntu OS. Okay, so basically we have the two ways to install first with the command line and the second way uh, is the uh, what we can do say that is the this one where it is that is the Ubuntu software store. Okay, so we will see first this one uh, that's a very easy to do uh, like that's and also it's very easy uh, for us to install any application. So how we can do it. Uh, we will just uh, search for the Skype in the search bar, okay? And uh, here you can see here is the Skype, and you have to just click on this uh, install button, okay, to uh, install successfully in your system. And here you will need to just enter the password, okay? That is the sudo password, okay, or the root user password. And then it will take time to install in your system according to your internet speed and then we can easily uh, use that uh, Skype in our system okay so I just wait for the installation part okay and till then I just pause the video okay guys so here you can see we have successfully installed the Skype and we are getting this option of an install and the permission and if we can search for that here in all application section we will search for Skype and here you can see the Skype app okay I have just open it uh, let's wait okay so here you can see the symbol as well so here you can see uh, we have installed the Skype app successfully using the snap store or Ubuntu software okay so uh, now I just uninstall and I will use the another way and I will show you how you can install the Skype using the command line. Okay, if you prefer command line then that is for you. So I just first uninstall that. So just wait for the completion. Okay, so here you can see we have successfully uninstalled and now what we will do I will just open up this Skype doc txt and we will follow those steps okay to uh, just install this skype okay use control alt t to open up the terminal and uh, now now we will just uh, copy and paste it and hit enter and enter the password So it will add the repository. Enter to continue. Just wait. And then we will use that particular command like wget we will use. Okay, so now we have successfully installed. Now we will just uh, paste another one. Okay, so we have done it also. Now we will just use this one sudo apt get update. Okay, so just paste it here. Okay, it's done. Now the last step. So we will just copy it and the, we will paste it here. 